When starting off as a balloon artist, I unknowingly made various mistakes that could have easily been avoided with the right guidance. In this video, I will share with you some of the most common mistakes I see beginner balloon artists doing and how to solve them so that I can save you time and a lot of headaches. The first mistake I see a lot of balloon artists doing is not measuring the proportions right whenever doing the tutorials online. I see a lot of characters that have longer noses than what they're supposed to have. They have more air in the balloon causing the end of the, the design to look tight and almost looking like it's going to explode. So I would say really take the time to measure with your fingers at the beginning just so that you get the size of the different proportions correctly because it can really make a difference from something looking very disorderly and something looking more like the actual character. The next point I want to touch on is how to cut off a line. I see a lot of balloon artists, they feel bad that they're going to have to cut off a line. They just want to make sure everyone's happy and unfortunately, we cannot please everyone. So one of the common mistakes I see people doing is letting the line continue to grow and pile on and then at the end have to cut it and people have already waited, they have stood in line for a certain amount of time and now you're telling them that all that time that they waited for is completely gone and they're also not going to get a balloon. So I recommend doing a countdown roughly about 30 to 15 minutes um, in length towards the end of your shift. So I recommend checking the line roughly about 30 to 15 minutes towards the end of your shift. That way you can gauge how many people and kids you can actually complete within that time frame. You can go towards the end of the line and tell the person that they're going to be the last person in line. So what that usually does is now you have a person in the back telling people who are trying to pile on into the line that they're no longer doing balloons. That way you don't have to make those people wait an additional amount of time. Might as well stay safe and cut off the line right on time. If you're enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button down below. Somehow it really helps my channel. Another common mistake I see a lot of beginner balloon artists doing is undervaluing their work. Whenever you go to a restaurant, you might charge only $1 for your balloon figures. I would definitely recommend putting sometimes a optional price. For example, you are doing tips, maybe giving certain figures a certain amount of optional tip. That way people know that your work is valuable. So I would definitely recommend learning how to price individually for characters, but also for gigs because sometimes I do see people starting to charge 50 or $60 an hour for balloon art or face painting. Sometimes what that does for other artists is that it undervalues their work. For the most part, I would say if you know the basic characters and the basic designs, you can definitely start charging $100 an hour or more. Uh, that way that you can stay on a safe zone. I would even say as low as $85 or $90 would be for a beginner balloon artist, but not less than that because that's when you start off uh, lowering the value of your work. And it also protects other balloon artists in your area so that you don't um, underprice their work as well. One tip that has saved me a lot of time and has allowed me to not feel too pressured whenever doing events on the weekend is making sure I schedule my parties with enough time in between so I can travel from one place to another. Google Maps is going to be one of your best friends and any and honestly any app that helps you travel from one place to another has a GPS system can be very useful for making sure that you know how much time it takes from one event to the other. And that way you don't have to worry about having a time conflict. I definitely recommend using time blocking, which is a feature on Google Calendar where you can block out certain amounts of time for different activities. And this really comes in handy for making sure that you put in the information of the customer and you can put the location of the party that way you know how much time it takes from one place to another and try to fill out as much as you can with events and parties according to what you have available. And lastly, I want to talk about a mistake that I see a lot of artists doing whenever exposing their work 
I know it can be sometimes hard to really believe in what you do. I remember when I was first going through the restaurants, I would get very nervous and would overthink the situation because sometimes I would be so afraid to sell my art because I didn't know if it was worthy of somebody purchasing it. That is why I would say put yourself out there. The more you put yourself out there, the more you begin to let go of that social anxiety that sometimes you can feel whenever exposing yourself the first couple times. Also, take pictures of your work, even though the first couple of pictures might not be the best, just make sure that you're taking pictures, documenting your work, and putting it on your social media. Even though it might be looking very beginner at first, it will make a difference in the long run. Uh, it's better to have pictures than no pictures. So start creating documentation of your work and post it on different sites, on your Instagram, Facebook. Make a TikTok if you want out of it. But the thing is, get yourself out there, put yourself in the situation where people are looking at you doing work. That way, the more that you do it, the easier that it becomes. So those are the common mistakes I see a lot of balloon artists doing when starting off. So I hope this saves you a lot of time. And if you really enjoyed this video, I also recommend watching this other video about the only tools that you actually need as a beginner balloon artist. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.